Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Breakfast with the Bulls, where I'm going to go over my top three penny stocks that I do like as long-term plays. And the reason why I want to mention these three penny stocks is because I do believe within the next few months, they all could go over 200%. And I'm going to show you exactly how I plan on playing into these. Now, quick disclaimer, anything we do mention is purely for entertainment purposes. If you guys would like financial advice, or recommend any contacts, financial professional. However, we have been going play-by-play, day-by-day throughout the whole year. So if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts, all you have to do is subscribe hit the bell notification and you will be notified at a timely matter. And again, much love to everybody that does subscribe. We do go all out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So be on the lookout for more of those this week. Now I am going to go over our first penny stock. Again, this one is a Bitcoin play. And the reason why I like EBON is because this one has been going crazy the other day. But again, we do want to see Bitcoin break over that 58,000 mark. That is what we're waiting for. That is our news on this. And they also have news that they do have a chip that's going to help them mine Litecoin and Dogecoin, and they do believe this would help them compete with some of the top competitors like Riot and MARA. And if it does, I do believe this price action could fo- possibly follow theirs. And if Bitcoin does break over 58,000, that also is very bullish. So, in my opinion, if all these things do happen, which I do believe Bitcoin will break over 58,000 within the next few weeks, hopefully. And if they do, like I said, I do believe EBON will possibly go over $40. Again, EBON is definitely on the watch, and I will be holding long term on this one. Love EBON. But however, I'm going to go over my next one. This is in the cannabis sector. SNDL has been coming up since our breakout at 48 cents. Again, we did talk about this at 48 cents. As they mentioned, they were debt-free about a couple months ago. And we came all the way up to $2.95 and sold off. Now, this one has came all the way down to our previous breakout point since then. And we are consolidating above our resistance at 113. And it looks like it wants to hold above it. And the reason why I do like this as a long-term play is because there was breaking news yesterday that New York has a bill that they are working on to possibly pass cannabis in New York. And I think this is huge news for New York and many other states, as many other states, in my opinion, will follow what New York does as they always do. And I believe that they will be legalized in every state soon enough. So again, I do believe SNDL will be one of those penny stocks that we look back on and wish we bought. Again, SNDL is definitely going to be my long-term play. I've been mentioning this one. This is my favorite penny stock overall. And I have been bullish on cannabis ever since the Democrats won the Senate. I know that cannabis can be legalized so easily. So again, SNDL is one of the safest long-term penny stocks in my opinion. Again, this is very volatile. You want to play safe. Make sure you, when you play long-term plays, you want to make sure you buy small and keep buying on dips and make sure you play safe as you are playing long and you want to play patient. So again, SNDL is the second of my favorite. So again, the last one that I do want to mention is in the energy sector. And this one has been consolidating nicely for quite a while. Now, GBR has came all the way up to around $30, has came all the way back down and we have been consolidating. It looks like we are holding above our $5 mark here and it looks like it could possibly break out. We do see volume that is starting to come in. Again, not enough, quite enough to take it to where we want, but I do believe this will be a breakout soon enough. GBR is definitely a nice long hold because I do believe they will break over $10 soon enough and this one could possibly go over 200% as this one has previously been at $30. And if it does happen to break into this candle wick, again, we could see an amazing play and we could possibly see the moon from here. So again, GBR is definitely on the watch as well. So again, I'm gonna go over these three as well. Again, SNDL, EBON, and GBR. Again, these are amazing long-term plays in my opinion as they are amazing buys. And again, I hope you guys have been enjoying our answers and breakouts. We have been calling out 30, 40% gainers almost every single day. And if you guys have not been in the watch list, I think you guys are definitely missing out as we are going crazy in there. So if you guys do have a watch list, throw it in the comment section. Anything on your mind, throw it in the comment section. Again, God bless you all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and lastly, we do have a Sunday night countdown every Sunday where I go over my weekly watch list. So definitely watch out for that because we have been, the watch list is definitely underrated. People have not, I don't think people have really seen how, crazy that watch list has been going. So definitely be on the lookout for our Sunday night countdown. Again, much love to everybody. God bless you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.